I'll pay for it. Grumbles over to the other dwarf, Donrag. Donrag. Uh, Donrag, I need more money. I like him. He's like me. <laughs> uh, and Donrag says, uh, Ulfa, uh, we, we don't have that much money left. And Ulfa just goes, Done right, I just need a little more money. We just give me a few. Well, how much does a shitty ass human table cost? I, I don't know, man. It's five silver? Then just give me three silver. Um, did you do my knowledge? Where is my knowledge? How damaged is the table? Uh, it's more than just broken half, like the legs are broken. So that's my knowledge empire, so I don't know anything. So I tell him, ah, a table like this. Gizlob, you can get it for like two silver. This is a cheap table, just like his cheap beard. Didn't mean to do elf. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know much of anything about it. How much is the table, sir? Uh, the burger says... Uh... Ten silver. I get in my... Coin pouch, and I like, jingle it around, and I look in there, and then I look at the dwarf. <laughs> the silverhead dwarf goes bananas again. You ain't getting no ten stinking silvers for such a... Piece of crap! Crappy craftsmanship! You've... Beer, your your beer is shit, and it tastes like sewer water in your mother's urine. At this point, he's not firing any more warning shots, but is still pointing his rifle at the the dwarf. I guess uh, Victor stands in front of me. <laughs> I go to him and just put an arm on the tabletop. Come, come, come here. <laughs> Fisherman is like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Don't need any more holes in me. No thanks. That's why I just like tell him to come to me. Move out of the way. Do you want money or do you want nothing? I want him gone. Then come. Alright, he lowers his rival. You know what? Does he move closer? <laughs> yeah. I would take out the gold crown. He nods and sort of goes, All right, now we're talking. He takes the gold coin. I'm going to pick up the dwarf's helmet that he never picked up off the table before flinging the table. But yeah. before okay. he takes it, like, I try to grab his hand. Please. Please roll 20 gods. Let this work. Thank you. Okay, so what are you saying to him? As he, I put the coin on the table and like have one finger on it. It's like, oh, thanks. And as he reaches for it, I grip onto his wrist and look at him dead in the face. But if you ever pull a rifle out in my presence or my behest, I will not stop her. I will let her lean on you. And I will let her show you the folly of your ways of pulling a firearm on people that was causing you no bodily harm. God well, we'll it. just see who moves faster. My bullet? Are you a horse for a bear? Or is it the other way around? It's a horse for oh, a I person a for a bear. <laughs> Oh, I could have turned around and been like, "Bitch, my bow travels faster." So yeah, then I would your let go of it. doesn't affect him right now at least. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have that high willpower. Stop it! Stop ruining it. <laughs> Cinematic. <laughs> all right. So, all sort of quits out here. Wait, did you give him back his helmet? No, I did not. This is mine now. 
especially with the flaw that I put on her last time, since no one's done anything about her stealing, she's going to go back to her room. Well, hold up there. You're not that fast. Granted. I, I, if I, you're right. Is Victor going to do anything to stop me? Because I can move, like, that far. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, uh, Eva. No. Yes? Give me it. Hold on. have it or not give you what that should be concealment hey where did it go <laughs> what? Did somebody see a helmet around here what I could there was a helmet <laughs> that the dwarf had I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You. Does the dwarf come back in for it? No, they left. If I oh. see it, I'll let, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. So I would start to leave and... Do I see the dwarves out there? Yeah. Uh, take a... As you're walking out, take a perception check, listening. <gasps> Wait. I succeeded that, because it's a sight. I have a yep. plus 20. Fuck you, Eva. Give me the helmet. <laughs> um, so you see the helmet. That's cool. It's a shame you're all the way over there now. <laughs> Give me the fucking helmet. <laughs> I don't want to. Give me the helmet. You <laughs> use the helmet at least. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Thank you for saying that, Hallie, and I would have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really get a plus 20 on seeing? I think it's plus 20. Let's see. It's uh, it's plus 10 because uh -huh. I have excellent vision. Your eyes are keen. You gain a plus 10 bonus to perception checks. That because it's just sight. a list of one that's a plus 20. And or yeah, the excellent, vision. Tests. excellent vision is only 10. Yeah, so you don't see it. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pass your <laughs> AK perception check listening. Kozlov solid. Excellent. Yeah. I bet Kozlov solid, though. <laughs> Let's see. You can roll, I guess? Nope. nope. Okay. Wait, yes. She has excellent vision. No, she doesn't. But that doesn't... That doesn't... I know, it still doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but for me, let's see. Yeah, hearing. Hearing. So this is a plus twenty. No. No, you don't hear anything. So you should totally out. use that luck roll. They were having a conversation and you come out here and to the dwarves and they stop having a conversation and look at you. Excuse me. Don't worry, I handled whatever that flimsy bearded man was going to put over your heads. Don't like up here, says, uh, it's much appreciated, uh, your noble gesture has been uh, duly noted. Like I was going to let some man that can't even keep trim his beard take advantage of people that actually know how to make themselves look appropriate. The dwarf, uh, done right and not in, uh, agreement. Why? Excuse me, sir, did you lose this? She shows the helmet. <sighs> the silver hat. Wait, you have a helmet? What? The silver hat guy sort of turns around. Ugh, yeah, uh, thanks. Goes over and takes it from you, puts it on his head. Wobbles back over again. By the way, if you really want bear, my name is Victor Albrecht. You find me, I will get you trained bear that you can have. Silverhead guy looks at you. Yeah? Like my own bear? 
I could not give you Coast Love, because she is family to me. But I will find Bear, train it, and give it to you personally. All right. Well, where do we find you if we have the money for it? In East Angol. There's a small village there. Ran over. If you head there, my wife will be there. We have All small... Right. Just ask for Victor Albrecht, and you will find her. Okay. Uh, we're not we're not headed there right now. Uh, we're going. Uh, we're going to Altov to meet some family. But uh, we'll we'll definitely get around to it at some point. I give him a firm nod and like twist my mustache and give him a smirk. Oh yeah, and we're gonna hit the sea now, but uh, the river now. But if you ever need any help with the the dwarven community, just say you're a friend of the Dragon Company. Actually, does Dragon Company have any connections with the shipwrights here? We were trying to get some information earlier, but they wouldn't give it to us. No, no, you can't use it to get to sea, no. That's not really a dwarven thing. Not, not too no. much. No. We were trying to get information on some of the shipping trades, and what has been shipped and whatnot. You see, I'm trying to get a hold of some pastor named Charlie Grievous. Don't know him. We'll give him a punch if we see him. Does it look Thank like you. they you are being, to um, like, they, are they lying? Does it look like they're lying? I don't know. Take an intelligence check. <sighs> I guess it would be intelligent. Yeah, I like guess, that. yeah. No, they're not lying. They actually don't know who Charlie Grievous is. Well, if you see I him, last I heard that he was in Karakongo. They stop. This guy turns around, runs up to you, grabs you throws you on the floor and says, WHAT DID YOU JUST SAY?! REPEAT YOURSELF! So I just look calm, but... Last I heard, he was in crack on go. You wretched liar! You silver-tongued bastard! You snake! He starts dragging you to the water. Whoa, 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 relax! I'm gonna cash in our one time for help. Please call him off. <laughs> Let us explain ourselves. No, 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 Evan. It's fine. It's fine. Don you... looks at you and says, "Explain yourself. What do you know about Karak Ungor? Him, not me. Wait. Well, no, no. <laughs> How do I know about Karak Ungor? Let's see." How did you learn about Karagunigo, you thieving cunt? Actually, out of character, I really <laughs> don't remember what I told you. Where did I get this name from? <laughs> I wrote I it in my know. notes and I don't know why it's here. Isn't that the name of the dwarf that we encountered? Or no, where he was it's going? A, it's the name of a place. Um, you learned it from uh, Charlie Grievous, the the guy at the gate, he told you about Charlie Grievous, and Charlie Grievous apparently has some kind of connection with Karagungo. I got this information from a guard at the gate. I've been hunting after this Charlie Grievous for some time. And as he's dragging me, like, I'm not resisting him. Yeah. I'm letting him do it. And just trying to show as... obviously that I'm not trying to resist or lie to this guy. Yeah, just like flipping a switch, as soon as you mention the guy at the gate, he's like, he drops you and just starts darting forward. John Rack, move it, you fat, lazy bastard! 
Darrow is just there.